Welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, this is part two on prime factorizing a number using the division ladder. But in this session, we're working with prime factors where there are multiple numbers involved. So if you're ready, let's get started. We're going to begin by expressing our number 100 as a product of its prime factors. And remember that when using the division ladder, you need to get familiar with those prime numbers because in the division ladder, the only numbers that we use are prime numbers only. So before we begin, let's do a little quick review by writing out our prime numbers that are less than 20. So our first prime number is going to be two, then 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So these are all our prime numbers that are less than, tw less than 20. So remember that we're looking for a prime number that we can divide 100 by without having a remainder. And there are two prime numbers here that we can divide 100 by. We can decide to begin with 2 or we can decide to begin with 5. It doesn't matter which number that you choose to begin with. Remember that as long as you prime factorize the number completely and correctly, we should end up with the exact same prime factors. So I'm going to begin with 5. Since 5 is the larger number and 5 will break my number down a little bit quicker, I'm going to begin with 5. So 100 divided by 5 will equal to 20. Now we're going to look for a prime number that we can divide 20 by. And there are again two prime numbers that we can use, which is 2 and 5 again. So I'm going to choose to divide 20 by 5. So 20 divided by 5 will equal to 4. Now the only prime number here that we can divide 4 with is 2. So 4 divided by 2 will equal to 2. And the only prime number that we can divide 2 by will be 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So my 100 as a product of its prime factors will be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now whenever you're expressing a number as a product of its prime factors and there are more than one numbers involved, remember to group the like numbers together because this will help you in terms of writing your numbers in index form. When everything is written together, then you can kind of count them a lot easier because they're already grouped. So we're going to do a quick check and check our answers first to make sure that we prime factorize our number completely, at least correctly, I should say. So two times two is equal to four. Five times five is equal to 25. And we know that four times 25 will equal to 100 so we know that numbers prime factorized correctly so now we're going to express our answer in index form and unlike our first video where we only had one number and all of those numbers were the exact same number in this video we have two sets of numbers so that means that when you're writing a number in index form you need to have an exponent for the two because we have two and we also need to have one for five. So each of the types of numbers that we have needs to be written in our index form. So for my two, I have one, two twos. So my two will be to the power of two. And for my five, I have one, two, five. So my five will be written to the power of two. Okay, so we just prime factorize 100, express it as a product of its prime factors, and then wrote our answer in index form. So now let's try another example. Feel free at this point to pause the video, prime factorize 48 for yourself using the division ladder, and then when you are ready, unpause the video and work along with me. Okay, so now let's express our 48 as a product of its prime factors. And remember, you're looking for a prime number that can divide into 48. 
without a remainder. And there are two pronouns that you can use. You can, you can decide to use two or you can decide to use three. Both of those numbers can divide into 48 without a remainder. So let's begin with two because you know two is the easier number and we can kind of split this number in half a lot easier. So 48 when cut in half when divided by two will equal to 24. So we're going to use two again and 24 when divided by two will equal to 12 and we can use two again. So two when divided by 12 when divided by two will equal to six and I'm going to use my two again. So six divided by two will equal to three and the only prime number that we can divide three by is going to be three, which will equal to one. So now let's express our 48 as a product of its prime factors, which will equal to two times two times two times two times three. So let's do a quick check. We know that two times two is equal to four and four times two is equal to eight. Eight times two is equal to 16 and 16 times three will equal to our 48. So good, we got our 48 bar. So now let's write our answer in index form. So we have two and we also have three. Remember that we need to have a power for two and we need to have a power for three. So two to its power will be one, two, three, four twos. And three, since it's one, three, you can decide to write the one or you don't have to. But if you feel comfortable, write your one. But if you don't write the one, remember that it still means the exact same thing because it's still only one, three. Okay, so I hope this video is very helpful to you. I hope you were able to prime factorize your numbers a little bit easier in this session. And remember that when you're working with multiple types of numbers in your prime factors that you need to have an exponent for each of the numbers that are in your prime factors. No number is left out and no number is skipped over. Each number has to be written in your index form. So remember to get some additional practice in, develop your skills, and when you're ready, we'll be right here on Jules Math Tools, where we make math easy.